it was never part of my plans to talk about texturing but i constantly got this message from a guy by name juicy smooye 17 years old and he's from japan and he says i want to get into gaming my dad has purchased everything i need but i'm confused as to which software to go in for when it comes to texturing should i keep blender or go in for substance painter mari or 3d code my bet is on substance painter by the way so please elaborate more on it for me great question there was no better way to ask it let's talk about texturing the software is involved and what each software in the texturing field is capable of and the requirements needed to do the capable choosing the right program can sometimes be a hard task i'm not sure anybody would want to waste time and money on a software they would later on realize they didn't meet their needs or was an overkill if you are new to the 3d world it is important to understand that substance painter is a texture editing software which is only one part of the 3d development pipeline processes such as 3d modeling sculpting uv mapping animation compositing and others will require other programs such as blender zbrush maya and others substance painter is extremely popular and used extensively in many aa games if you are looking for a professional great piece of texturing software substance painter is certainly a great option though it's not free but it's one amongst the few softwares likely to land you a job in the gaming field if you've got sweet hands substance painter is a 3d texturing software designed to procedurally and manually edit textures and materials which is later on applied to models using a pbr workflow first time users to substance painter shouldn't worry about anything because i have a complete beginner's tutorial to using substance painter in my description box below which you can download for free and start practicing substance painter without any tutorial is still easy to use also you get tons of helping videos on youtube as well to guide you through which are also free the fun part is you are able to achieve quality and professional looking models even if you are not a professional and these are some of the few reasons it's been widely adopted as a favorite amongst beginners and pros who are into gaming substance painter is geared more towards games when it comes to characters and is considered in movies when it comes to large scale scenes its lack of udims support at this moment and the ability to preview textures over 4k is this massive let down for most companies and that's where mari comes to play i'll be talking about mari in a bit so let's not rush ourselves some of the good reasons most people choose substance painter over other texturing apps are one substance painter is fast to use sleek friendly and has an easy to understand user interface this doesn't mean it's not got depth to it it does but you wouldn't even notice it if your uv unwrappings are top notch uv unwrapping is something i would like to talk about some other time two Substance Painter is integrated with Unreal Engine and Unity, which allows you to create the highest quality work with the ability to export them in 8K resolution. And look, this is one of the main reasons why I think any Blender user into game development should save to purchase Substance Painter as their main texturing kit. Because the options Substance Painter gives you is just tuned in line to what Blender developers are trying to offer to their users into game development. So it makes working as a texture artist using Blender and Substance Painter much easier. I'm not sure Blender and Adobe sat down to even think about it, but what these two softwares have in common for game developers is just coincidentally awesome. Three, you get many export options, which I think deserves some praise if you are to compare it to what the other export options other texturing softwares are providing. Four, you are not left alone. You become part of a large knowledge rich based community where you can share your works, pick ideas from people and also have your problems solved quickly by their forum users whenever you come across a problem. A rich forum is something I would encourage every beginner to be a part of. Five, you get a ray traced viewport. If you are new to this whole 3D stuff, don't worry. You would come to know what ray tracing is. It's not something you even have to learn. There are so many alternatives to Substance Painter, but almost all are paid except for Blender. So let me take my time to break them down for you so you have a fair idea on what you are getting into 
if your main goal is the texture you can choose to use blender alone for texturing if you don't have the money to purchase substance and i can promise you there are so many texturing add-ons you would come across which would make your work easy but aside the add-ons there are a few things i put together which i know would spice your texturing game up in blender one if you want to use substance painter texturing materials in blender it is possible and absolutely free all you have to do is to download an add-on by name substance 3d integration 2 link to the download page in my description below this add-on for blender allows you to load a substance 3d material directly into blender and apply modifications by tweaking parameters it's available for windows mac and linux two you can check out b painter look there are so many texture add-ons for blender but most of them have difficult installation procedures and aren't even friendly to operate very messed up b painter is one of the painting add-ons i think is very easy to set up and brings a lot of features to the table it's free link in my description below three is actually a cookies jackpot which i think every substance painter and blender texture artist would love to taste it actually comes at a cost though 25 dollars for indie version and 50 dollars for the studio version it's called substance painter live link now what this plugin does is very simple it allows you to import your models into substance painter paint on them whilst you see the live paint take effect in blender no export and import stress here very easy spending your cash on this plugin as a substance painter and blender user is going to be an investment well made aside blender this live link works with houdini maya cinema 4d modu and maybe 3ds max link to the download page in my description below overall i think the developers of blender are on fire just by looking at how fast they are growing with the massive improvements they are making on blender as a complete suit if they continue this way blender would have a serious story to tell in 10 years time my second alternative texturing software to substance painter is going to be 3d code 3D Code's UV system is unbeatable. It supports the creation of your own PBR materials that are ready to be used in any PBR workflow. Now check this out. You can save and open your texture works in apps like Photoshop, work on them and send them directly back to 3D Code. And guess what happens? 3D Code will remember your layers as it were before and update them. Mm, this is sick. Not only that, it's the cane of retopology in the gaming industry and above everything it's the best when it comes to hand painting 3d code comes at a cost if you are a professional texture artist i wouldn't recommend you go in for their educational license it's for beginners also it's very limited as to the number of textures you can work on if you want an infinite experience kindly go in for their professional license which is less than 400 usd my next software is going to be mari Mari, as we all know, is a jack of all trade with an untouchable texture panel. Sure, Mari is a lot harder to master, but once you do, I bet you will never look back, especially if you are a texture artist in the movie industry. Mari can handle 24,000 to 32,000 textures, and that was since 2008. If you watched the 2010 version of James Cameron's Avatar and wondered, what they used in texturing the close-up looks of those human beasts yeah that was mari mari was never intended to be made for hobbies freelancers or indie filmmakers because its price is very huge but you know what people still have found a way to use mari constantly by renewing their trials with different emails i would advise you do this only if your main goal is to work on big movies and games any other reason you have in mind is a complete waste of time using this procedure in Mari. Spend those precious time mastering Substance Painter and Blender or even 3D Coats and Blender. Very cheap. One good reason to use Mari over Substance Painter is because Mari can handle tons of UVs channels. Also, it's fast on both old and new hardwares. Mari is the main guy for big projects or let's just say big movies because of its projection features, UDIMS support and deep level of texture 
production for huge scale textures in ultra hd movies for big screens these advantages have made mario an overkill for game assets substance painter or blender is enough if you are a beginner then there is the old fat guy madbox but why would anyone even texture in madbox madbox isn't the right place to start texturing if you ask me so i wouldn't waste time talking about it there is one suit people have been writing to me about called quixel i hear it's powerful than substance painter when paired with photoshop and it's free as well but i'm not getting the details i really want on google also i have never tried it before so if it's something you have tried before kindly share your thoughts on it in the comment section below and also if uh, you can provide a download link i would really appreciate it i'll check to make sure the link is authentic else i will delete it so keep that in mind there is so much to cover on substance painter but i think the little info i've packed in this video would give you a strong overview of what to expect before you get into substance painter you first need a polygonal model that has been properly uv unwrapped this 3d asset will be imported and used as the surface object to paint on if you haven't tried substance painter before i highly recommend downloading the demo it's also a lot fun to see what you can come up with especially if you already have a small background in 3d works i would have loved to talk about its particle brush effect baking and machine specs but i just realized the length of the video is moving into the boring zone so i will do that in my next texturing video don't forget to check my description for some other info i might have missed in the video and also a free substance painter complete course kindly give me a sub if you love this video peace out